Hey everyone, Zalafis here. Posty Burb has released a new version, or a couple new versions actually, and with that they actually changed the user interface a little bit. So my last tutorial covered how to do a single post as well as to set up your template. So with this tutorial I'm going to review how to do bulk posting and I'm going to skip over much of the other stuff I covered in the other tutorial. So let's get into it. So you can see I already have loaded here my uh, my template that I created. I labeled this my main with uh, shorter descriptions because some things that I learned about the particular websites that I post to is that my signature that I have here that includes uh, my shop links and my Patreon links, this works well in places like For Affinity or DeviantArt or a couple other places. However, I have some other sites here uh, including so Mastodon, Discord, which is new with the new update, and Coffee, which is also new with the new update. And these, so Discord in particular, if you include links, it'll have a preview for every single link that you include when you post it to Discord. So if all you want to do is just to post single images to your Discord channel, then I would not recommend including links when you post those images. Same with Coffee. Uh, coffee kind of strips the formatting for everything, so if you try to include links or you know bold etc all the, that other kind of formatting it's just it's a huge mess on coffee so I really recommend short and to the point descriptions for that so now I'm going to add the images that I want to upload and I have quite a few that I've made since then so I'm going to click on new I'm going to click on submission and within my postcards I have a couple different things here cool that's everything I want to upload so I'm going to hit open and it has this pop-up here. I actually do recommend addressing the options in this pop-up before you hit OK. In particular, you can adjust the titles of each of these, so I'm going to do that first. So I have those custom titles added in. Now I'll choose the maturity rating for each of these. Not every website that I use needs to have that information, but you can just add it and it'll populate to the necessary websites. And then same thing for the template. If you have hundreds of images that you're uploading and you don't want to have to go through adding the template to each one, I will show you how that's possible to append your template to the images you've uploaded. But in this case, if you have just five or less like I do right here, it's really not that much work to add all those. So once I have the titles, the maturity rating, and the template chosen, I'm going to hit yes. Now after those have populated on the side, you'll notice that this blue edit uh, pencil is highlighted. And you'll see at the top here there's a tab for just that particular postcard. Even though we kind of started out with bulk, we're just editing, we're, we're sent to the page where we're just editing the first submission on the list. So if we go back to bulk, uh, I can hit the pencil for all of these. So this description here is actually the last description I happened to use for the single post that I made earlier. Uh, conveniently enough, I'm posting yet more postcards, so I'm just going to copy and paste that again. But anyway, once you've selected the pencil for all of these, they'll all appear in the tab up here. You can then go back to this bulk tab here, and you can adjust what description you want for all of them. So to be clear, if you just want to edit an individual one, so for example, this Robin, if I wanted to add a line that's just unique to this Robin, I could do that here. But if I, if I don't care, which is my particular case, I really don't care about the description of these because nobody ever reads them, I'm just going to go to bulk and I'm okay with every single one of these having the exact same description. If I'm happy with the description here, so this is the default description. Again, the default description is what gets appended to most of your websites. Uh, however, for example, for coffee, I clicked this checkbox for overwrite defaults and I included my shorter description that I mentioned earlier. So if you're okay with this description being used on all of your websites, don't do anything. If you want to override that description and add something unique per individual websites, you would click on the tab here to expand it, click on that to overwrite the default, and then add in your new description here. So when I hit save, that will open up another pop-up here from which I can choose which images I want to append all my changes to. So in this particular case, as I just described, I really don't care what description this has. They can all have the exact same description. However, if, uh, for example, that Robin I mentioned earlier, if you want that to have a unique description, you would just not select that here and that would get its own description. But in this case, I just want things very simple. I just want to get these images online, so I'm going to check that. Um, they don't have a way to deselect this drop down, so I just kind of click next to the save. And those are all selected. I'm going to hit yes. 
and you really don't see anything happen, but um, you can double check if you want by clicking on these at the top and you could see that, you know, earlier I kind of changed the description here for Robin, but now it's back to the same description that the rest of them have because when I hit save on all of them, I also selected the Robin. So that kind of overwrote what I had written uniquely here for what I have here for all of them. So my description, my tags, everything else has been added to each of these images. So now I'm ready to post them. One thing you might want to check before you get ready for posting is to click on this gear here, which is settings. So you click that and you have a couple options here. And one thing that I noticed the first time is that empty queue when a post fails was turned on by default. And I encountered an issue where for whatever reason, my images were not posting to coffee. Apparently I've just downloaded the update so that particular issue should be resolved. However, I set up my queue and I kept my computer on and I left to go, you know, do some chores and some other errands. But because the first post failed when it didn't post a coffee, the entire rest of the queue just didn't post. So as a result, I kind of wasted time not having those images post while I was gone doing chores and I had to set up the whole thing again. So if you don't mind the rest of the queue continuing, if an individual image doesn't post to a particular website, then I would deselect this. So using that example again, when I had it deselected and I tried again, all of my images successfully uploaded to all the websites and it just skipped over the parts where it wasn't uploading to coffee successfully. Time between posts, you can choose here. So for example, I'm posting these five images today. If you don't care, you could just set it to zero minutes and they'll all post at once. But for my sake, I do want to add just a little bit of space between them so that they're separated a little. And so I set that to 15 minutes for myself. So I have all of my possible images here in sort of the, the editing box, if you will. When I'm ready to post them, I can hit this arrow up here that will post all of them. So I click on that. And once again, there's another pop-up for me to confirm that I indeed want to post all of these things. So I'm going to hit select and indeed I want to post every single one. And again, there's no um, way to click out. So you just kind of click next to post and that's fine. Uh, if you want to reorder them, you would click on reorder and you can drag them in a different direction. So maybe I like this buffalo, so I want that to be at the end. Uh, yep, the rest of these are good. Hit yes. And these are now in the queue here. And you can see this dotted line means that it's processing through all of these. So right now it's working on my Australian wolf image and you can see that it's posting to DeviantArt. Now it's posting to Discord. It's kind of cycling through all of these. And you can see that uh, my Australian wolf has successfully been posted there. It's also now on Fur Affinity. It's been added to Mastodon. It's on my Tumblr. It's been added to my Discord, and again, with Discord, it has that uh, shorter description. And that coffee bug that I mentioned earlier has been fixed, so this is now successfully posted to coffee. And again, with coffee, I recommend a shorter description. You can see here, uh, here's an earlier post where I had my longer description with my signature and everything. And as you can see, it's, it's just kind of a big mess. Cool, so once again, in my particular case, I have these set 15 minutes apart. So you need to keep your computer on and awake while you're posting those things. In my particular case, I have an app here called Jolt that I use. And I would just make sure that's on and I personally have it set for two hours. So that will keep my computer on while the rest of this is running. So hopefully that uh, explained a little bit how to use the bulk upload option with the slightly new interface and the latest posty verb. If you have any questions, sound off in the comments. If you found this tutorial useful, consider tossing a coin in my tip jar. That will be very helpful in the production of more tutorials. Or if you're not already a patron of mine, consider joining my Patreon. I have a lot more tutorials similar to this and I plan on making many more, uh, some of which are exclusive to my patrons as well. So by joining Patreon, you'll unlock all those previous tutorials and you'll be supporting the creation of more of them. All right, thanks again.